speed is such a blessing sir but because gynecology is not so well glorified as the other branches like medicine or surgery because they many platforms provide the material and videos for entrance exams for these subjects but the, but no platform glorified gynecology as well sir speed is the only platform that does, that initiated teaching so even though i'm aware of the speed uh, but I, i actually i i had that um, whole commitment to the speed after my theory exams only i strongly suggest my juniors to start watching those videos from speed from first year itself sir i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of speed medical institute and team of speed and all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr anusha reddy shripati for scoring a topmost rank of aml1 and cml1 in superficiality of mcs reproductive medicine in eni ss session november 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you sir it's my honor pleasure is mine great doctor great to have you in the session today now uh, can you share your uh, brief background history from where you started till date what all you have done yes sir i did my mbbs from usmania medical college hyderabad and a post graduation from gandhi medical college and i passed my post graduation in this march this march sir and then i attended uh i and in uh, march also in and and the neat also in the month of march and this is my second attempt so second ina attempt great accomplishment and all through in covid medical college in hyderabad one in osmania and one course in gandhi well reputed and very reputed places that you have taken your ug and pg programs yes sir that's so good congratulations to you on that and uh, can you share uh, your previous uh, need and ineas uh, experience and scores and from there how you have migrated to rank number 1 what you did what are your success formula what are the strategies that you used can you share something on that uh, sir uh, as soon as my post graduation uh, exit exam uh, it was there was a time period of about 1 month sir then i completely adhered to the speed up for a period of about 3 to 4 weeks and then i secured a rank of 32 36 in need sir just my uh, i i got my basics right with my theory exams and just i build up on something uh, build the extra things with the with the speed support and then i cracked the rank of 36 in the in the month of one month or in a period of one month only then but my aim was for uh, i uh, for aims sir okay. so then i joined my senior residency and uh, before i and i took a gap of almost like 45 to 50 days and then i seriously prepared again sir so did you give last april uh, ina also yes sir that i secured a rank of 4 in uh, am in aml but um, i lost by 0.3 marks sir i wasn't called for interview only by 0.3 so so there are two seats am i right this time there is there are two seats sir last time there was only one seat so in order to make rank 1 yes as a possibility from 4 what kind of a mindset is this i mean how uh, is that you able to conceive that within rank 2 then at the maximum is 1 and the next is the 2 and after that you don't have a choice then can you tell us the framework that you are working with that to get rank 1 or at the maximum rank 2 can you tell us something about that yes sir uh, sir first thing your purpose should be uh, your your purpose should be for a good will sir if you have if you attach yourself to the higher one then the universe will care for you i mean it will it will show you the ways to uh, you know to get it done but speed is such a blessing sir but because gynecology is not so well glorified as the other branches like medicine or surgery because they many platforms provide the material and videos for entrance exams for these subjects but the, but no platform glorified gynecology as well so speed is the only platform that does, that initiated teaching so even though i'm aware of the speed uh, but I, i actually i i had that um, whole commitment to the speed after my theory exams only then um, the revathi ratan's ma'am teaching was such a blessing sir such she is an awesome, she is an awesome teacher so she inspired me in many ways she uh, she is she, she just not only mentored the mentored my rank but she shaped me in every way possible sir because of her inspiration i i even started teaching my juniors i even started uh, handling classes for my juniors and mentored them she's such an inspiration sir eh, something that the, the concepts can be more complex that the organic oncology and all i used to break my head but ma'am ma'am will uh, they she makes things such complex things seem and understand and understand in such a simple way 
at the end of the class you don't need to read again the notes again or uh, memorize anything it's it's the concept at the end that's it sir she's such an inspiration i don't think it would have been possible without the speed up sir and the the, the entrance this time reproductive medicine questions were such a way that the, that the questions were only a refinement of the basic obstetrics gynecology as well sir so it's not a high end and reproductive medicine so the basic that that uh, that ma'am helped me uh, is the the basics that she taught me helped me in ruling out the answers in in the ina great she will definitely be happy hearing you from this and from you and um, such a dedicated and wonderful teacher she is and um, yes. and can we know how many questions did you attend this exam i attempted 79 out of 80 sir okay yes yeah. tell us about the paper what did they focus on what did they ask on reproductive medicine how much of kind of i mean what general og is was there can you discuss on that yes sir. so generally the, the counterpart of uh, reproductive medicine is gynecology oncology where in in that paper they asked about uh, 50 to 60 questions of oncology part itself but in reproductive medicine it wasn't the same sir it wasn't like uh, only the only the high end of it wasn't the, that way it was it was again an amalgamation of everything like the basic ops gynecology and some part of uh, uh, oncology as well so it went around everything it they covered everything sir not per se reproductive medicine because it's not a separate entity as as such so it's a mixer bag yes sir and there is always a uh, prejudice that uh, aims board members will always select uh, uh, only those candidates who passed from aims but isn't that isn't true always sir because a candidate can, like me can uh, get into aims with such a rank then everyone can get into it sir everyone can dream of aims correct excellent now how did you prepare for interview I mean what did you prepare and what did they ask I mean can you share something on the interview part uh, so the, uh, the first thing is uh, they will uh, they will not ask you they will not dig into the theory so much but they will be they will try they will ask you to elaborate about your cv itself so so from beginning of my uh, post graduate i was very keen on uh, ivf and that i wanted aims only so i was aware that aims uh, uh, people want uh, their students such that they are good at academics and they are they're good at uh, uh, clinical work and they should be good at publications research work also so i had that vision that from prior itself sir so i made sure that i attended many conferences i presented more papers i published my thesis and everything so by the interview i had everything that what they what they anticipate what they what they want to what they want what the board actually want so they just asked me about my quiz uh, competitions or paper work and thesis work so that's it they didn't ask theory theory much okay sir uh, i was uh, no, no one suggested uh, speed speed such as, as i said it's not uh, it's not a glorified uh, branch for uh, teaching sir because no one uh, uh, no one is interested in teaching jobs but some day i saw revathi srathan ma'am's uh, classes on youtube and somewhere i navigated uh, that show and that that, uh, that uh, helped me to choose speed sir that okay. way that was a good decision for you Was, was obvious <laughs> that, that i'm forever grateful to her not only not she just helped me not only through my rank but in every possible way sir excellent excellent Thank now you. what is the message that you want to give for your juniors who are aspiring for uh, mch reproductive medicine uh sir first thing uh, get your basics right don't be in a hurry that uh, uh that just after your uh, uh, pg post graduation you should gra- you should uh, you should get into some super specialty that should never be your mindset sir get your clinical things done get right first and attend your rounds well because the questions will be such that for example sir there was a question in uh, our reproductive medicine this is such a simple question what was the capacity of a bakri balloon so that uh, that because the capacity is 500 ml because we are very used to the uh, we are, because we are, we are very versed with managing pph in clinical rounds i was able to get that right sir but for others it wasn't easy so so it's not that you, if you are good at your theory or books you will be able to crack that you should be disciplined enough in your post graduation as well just the, the theory theory adds just to your base so what you should be good at your rounds what is being done how the patients will be evaluated everything sir 
Great. Now, time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they helped your career to shape you from day one till date. You can use this platform to do so. Uh, first to Rivati Ratan ma'am sir and uh, my parents and my department encouraged me so much sir my th- special thanks to my hod she always wanted me to start the ivf platform in my home uh, home uh, parent college uh, because that's the only hospital in the state where where the ivf uh, uh, procedures are offered for free and nowhere else so i saw patients coming from nook and corner of the state to avail the services but there wasn't an, that the, you know that the, the infertility is a modern day disease and it's not understood well sir so she so she encouraged me to go to aims and um, get her own knowledge and start something here so that you should be useful to some sector of society so that kept me motivated <laughs> my friends my friends and my extended family sir thank you great doctor great for sharing your valuable experiences and will be a real and great motivation for all the students who are aspiring for names and you are such an inspiration sir i i have been to speed medical uh, speed medical home in chennai as well sir then i oh. then i happened to meet your parents okay i met them you you were in uh, mangadu campus or i mean i where? just uh, i just visited it sir so that i could stay okay. for a one month but okay. it wasn't feasible for me because okay. of my work here then then i realized that age age is not a barrier to you know to support to mentor everything great great doctor i just want to ask one more question how sure, did you uh, you took last exam fourth rank in uh, in ess uh exam fourth rank and this time you migrated from fourth to one I mean it's okay that if you could understand it somewhere else and coming from fourth to one so the it was very narrow how focused you were how you able to accomplish I mean I want I mean what is the mindset I mean of course I understand that uh, you wanted to do it and I mean what exactly was your mindset that you believed in yourself that you can it, it is doable because most of the students will quit and they take on the neat or something somewhere else but you just you even you got a seat in neat also but you said okay i'll do an institute one only i have to take rank one or rank two i can take it i believed i can i can do it so where that belief system uh, is operating for you sir uh, especially for women and uh, at this point of time that and so the journey will, will not be as smooth as like a pg entrance or an mbbs entrance or uh, your work your family demands so much of your time so 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 every single day will not go the way it is planned sir every every single day will be a challenge um to accomplish your family demands and uh, uh, you know to uh, to have a family and all so sir every day i used to pray one thing only i used to pray about one thing that that if i if i could be able to help some sector of society with my work then please get me through this that's the <laughs> i just prayed to god sir Just, uh, so you thought about the purpose. I mean, I mean, if you want sir, to do that, purpose, enable me. <laughs> if the purpose is for a good will, then then the the universe will help you to navigate through, sir. There was so much of support from my friends, from my family, from my department, from everyone, sir. Everyone, it's it's not my credit, sir, but it's their blessings. Wow. I'm very I'm very thankful for Almighty for having them around and such a platform, such a good platform, sir. That I was very clueless because I I wanted to I wanted to stick to your platform from my junior residency itself, sir. But I but I there was no one to you know there was nothing like that for gynecology and I also wanted to share something about this, sir. I uh, I strongly suggest my juniors to start. uh watching those videos from speed from first year itself sir because revati sratan ma'am's classes will be so elaborate that even a first year resident can easily understand uh, things sir from basics itself you need not you need not go to the theory again you just read her cla- visit her class once and you and you'll be done then there itself so i am strongly recommend juniors to get the you know to get in touch with those app, uh, the classes sir great doctor and uh, it was a very i don't think i have in read any any big books sir any big books just i i just uh, gave my exams with those basic books but revathi ratan ma'am made sure that she will make sure that this statement is from williams this statement is from novax so so that it helped me sir so 
congratulations to both dr ravi ratan and also to you as a team you have worked and you have got into where we want to i mean we are very happy for you we are very very happy for you for the purpose you believed and conceived that to execute for people in need is going to come at a very 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 uh, uh, great level and also wonderful way that you are going to do it once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great and amazing and a wonderful and uh, career in your reproductive medicine as a course and also to deliver the service for people in need best wishes to you doctor thank you sir thank you